In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to connect a zero to 10 volt dimmer to the LED driver itself that has dimming capabilities. Now, before we begin on any of these demonstrations, always ensure that you have the proper AC voltage input to the driver, as well as making sure that the driver that you've selected matches the LED luminaire from two points. One is to make sure that you're within the voltage range of the luminaire. And secondly, to make sure that the driver current going into the fixture is set at the proper level. This is essentially important because you want to make sure that once you set the driver at the proper level, you'll actually get the proper dimming function. If the driver and luminaire are not properly matched, you may not get the proper dimming function or in some cases you may damage the LED fixture because you're overdriving too much current into the fixture more than what the fixture is rated for. Now before we begin, we want to identify the dimming wires on the LED driver and ensure that the uh, dimming wires are the proper colors and also make sure that the dimmer that you're using is also designated to be used as a low voltage 0 to 10 or even a 1 to 10 volt dimmer. This is essentially important because you want the correct dimmer to be used for that specific LED driver. Now the other thing that you must also check is how many drivers are you going to put on a single dimmer. This is very important because what the dimmer is actually doing it's drawing current out of those LED driver dim wires. And we want to ensure that we do not put too many drivers on one specific dimmer. So check the specifications of the LED driver to ensure that you have the correct current designated for that driver. And also check the data sheet of the LED driver itself to ensure that there's the proper source current. Usually this current is going to vary between 100 micrograms to 500 micrograms. So it's important to check that so that when you put all the drivers together, all those currents are going to add up and be sunk in by the dimmer itself. All right, so let's demonstrate how the dimmer is connected. All right, so we'll notice right here, we have uh, already set the current to the right mount and we'll see here that we have the two dimming wires. So the blue is the positive and the white is the negative. And we are checking here, this dimmer is actually, does not have a, um, a polarity designation. All right, but it is a, a dimmer that actually has some switch ratings attached to it. So it's an AC switch, but we're only using the dimming wires and this is dimmable with a zero to 10. And I'll verify that in a brief amount of time. So we've connected the white and the blue together. We're making those connections. These are low voltage connections. So just so that we have them for test purposes, the other wires on this dimmer is not gonna matter because we're not actually connected to the AC side. We have the dimmer set to its maximum amount. And we're going to also connect a voltmeter to the plus and the minus so we can ensure what that dimmer voltage will be connected to here. So now our setup will have the output voltage, the output current, and the dimming voltage. Here we go, we're gonna energize the driver and as we do, we'll have a full brightness on the light. And you can see we have close to, we have close to 10 volts right now at full brightness. Right now, as I start, and if we look at the current, we'll see that the current is set to its maximum of 2.4, it's 2.399, which is very close. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start the dimming. So as I start dimming down to the nine volts, 
you can see that my current has gone down to two amps. As I continue to dim down to eight volts, my current's gone down to 1.92 amps. As I continue to dim down to seven volts, 1.6. As I continue to dim down to five volts, my current is now around 1.2. As I continue to dim to four, my current's down to 0.953. As I dim down to three, I get to 0.6. And if I go all the way down to about a half a volt, I'm at 0.102, which is well below 10% of the, of, the, of the maximum or the rated uh, current that we had. So 10% would have been around 240 milliamps, and this specific uh, LED driver is getting us down to about 5% uh, of that. So there you have it. This is how you connect a dimmer to an LED driver. If you have any questions on how to connect a dimmer to a driver, give us a call here at TRC. We'll make sure that you get all the information that you need and we'll also make sure you've selected the correct driver for your application.